Welcome to building a chatbot on Azure. My name is Guy Hummel. I'm the Azure Content Lead at Cloud Academy, and I have over 10 years of experience with cloud technologies. If you have any questions, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and send me a message. Our goal is to build a chatbot that can answer questions about a particular product based on a frequently asked questions page for that product. The idea is that this bot could handle basic technical support requests from customers. We're also going to give our bot the ability to accept spoken questions and to respond verbally. This will hopefully make the chatbot easier to use for people with impaired vision and people on mobile devices. Building this sort of application from scratch would take a huge amount of effort, but luckily Microsoft has a number of services that are designed to help us build one. It can be a little bit confusing finding the right tools in Azure though. The most obvious place to start is with Azure Cognitive Services. This is a collection of pre-built artificial intelligence tools. These services let you add AI capabilities to applications even if you don't know anything about machine learning. They're grouped into five categories, vision, knowledge, language, speech, and search. For example, the vision category includes the computer vision API, which can classify images, and the face API, which can detect faces in images. So which category would have a chatbot? Language seems like the right one, but it's not there. It's actually a separate service that's not part of cognitive services. I think it's because cognitive services are meant to be task-oriented rather than complete AI systems. For example, you could use the Translator Text API to convert an English sentence to another language, such as French. In contrast, a chatbot is an entire system with many integrated functions. The Azure Bot service is what we need. We do still need something in Cognitive Services, though, because we need our chatbot to use a knowledge base. If we look in the Knowledge category, we see that it has a service called Q&A Maker. It lets you create a knowledge base from collections of Q&As. That's exactly what we need for our chatbot. How about searching the knowledge base? Do we use something from the search category for that? You'd think so, but Q&A Maker actually uses the Azure Search Service, which is not part of Cognitive Services, even though it's advertised as being AI-powered. Okay, how about the speech capabilities we want to give our chatbot? Surely we should use something from the speech category for that, right? Well, maybe. As you'll see later, there are several options for adding speech capabilities, one of which is Bing Speech, which isn't in this list. I think they just renamed it, though, so it actually is part of this list. Confused? I know I was when I started using Azure's AI services. Hopefully I can make it less confusing for you. Azure Q&A Maker lets you build a searchable knowledge base by importing a set of questions and answers. You can manage your knowledge bases by using the Q&A Maker portal. The Azure Bot service lets you create various types of bots. It can be configured to work with other Azure services such as Q&A Maker. To give the bot a web chat front end, you need to embed some code in a web page and include either a secret key or some code that retrieves a token for the web chat channel. There are several ways to enable speech on an Azure chatbot. One good option is to integrate the chatbot with the Bing speech service using some code and either a secret key or a token from the direct line channel. Now, if you're ready to learn how to build an informational chatbot, then let's get started.